There's the Goodyear blimp, the Mayflower out of Miami with the CBS color camera. Doing a great job. He did a great job yesterday, Jack, just trying to keep that thing in line. It was blowing all over the place. And now let's get back to the tennis as John Newcomb has just lost his serve, which allows Jan Kodish to go ahead 4-3, one set all. And, of course, Kodish had to, I guess, play the finest defensive game of the match for him. And I think you can sense that uh, as Kodish comes out on the center court here at the West Side Tennis Club, he's got a lot of people behind him. There's his charming wife. I think her name is Linka. I'm not positive. I was with her in Tokyo. Lovely person. Very, very happy for her husband, Jan. He now tries to go to 5-3 in this third set. Put him in love. And I would think a very, very worried John Newcomb. John Newcomb, of course, has been one of the superb grass court players. Many, many titles. This would be the second big one for Cody. Wimbledon this year. Good shot. I'm afraid every once in a while when Cody throws in the change up, Tony, a little slower type serve, why uh, John's able to deal with it pretty severely. That's right, because he doesn't take a big swing at the ball, particularly on the backhand, so he times it well. Good. I think Cody should lob a ball like that, Jack. They only make one out of 20 when they run back and try to turn around and hit a passing shot. Newcomb wisely came in when he saw the ball was going to be over Cody's head. Now it's 15:30 and Cody is getting into trouble. It was called good. Service ace. What a time for it. 30 all. Surprisingly, four service aces to the credit of Jan Cody. One double fault. Newcomb has five aces to four double faults. And we're at 30 all, 4 3. Out, oh, oh, 40 30. That's the ability to win the, uh, what you call the crucial points, wins tennis matches. And Jan Cody has started to look like that type of a player. Out, out. games to Cody. Kodish leads in the third set, five games to three. So Jan Kodish really surprising everyone, perhaps even including himself, goes out 5-3, playing the very top of his game. It's a little overcast now, so the sun will not be a problem, at least the fish goes. Matter of fact, Jack Kramer's a little on the cool side, if anything, particularly compared to earlier in the week. Well, I, I'm amazed, Tony, at, at the ability of the grounds groundskeeper here, Oni Sheridan, does a great job because he had that tremendous amount of heat. He had to overwater the courts to keep them from really dying. He's produced a good one. Oh, oh, 30. That was a double hit. John Newcomb, uh, I don't think, well, there's Mr. Mr. Newcomb's charming wife, Angie, and that's young Clint. Angie's from Hamburg, Germany. Yep, that's why John always plays the Hamburg oh, yeah. event. So I believe that Cody is not too interested in this game. 40 love. Though you know, Jack, if he could win this game, he could start the force it out on his own serve. There's a game for Newcomb. Five games to four. Mr. Kodish leads third set.
Nora Hand Handworker, you are today's Garcia Golden Axe sweepstakes winner. Please report to the Garcia Blues to pick up your act. We're just about to play the biggest game of the match so far. Here's the story. One set all. Jan Kodish leads five games to four. Newcomb really needs a break here, or he's behind two sets to one. Jan Kodish to serve. And I think a very aggressive Newcomb will try to assert himself. Might have been out. John Kodish might have flagged one there, Tony. What do you think? Well, he was a little indecisive, and I think he that ran through his mind quickly. Of course, you don't have much time to make up nope. your mind, and he did a little bit of each and missed it. So a good start for Newcomb. And exactly what a serve that was. That's exactly the serve that this boy hit against Stan Smith when it was point match. 4-5 in the final set last night. 15 all. Of course, this is the final. It'll be good. What a shot! Let's take a look at that again in slow motion. Cody serves and Newcomb's backhand hits a straight back. Cody hits a volley. Newcomb goes cross court, a backhand volley down the line. Newcomb makes a good stab and gets a good lob over his head that lands just inside the baseline. Cody rolls a forehand. Newcomb chops a forehand coming in. He rolls a cross court very sharply angled for a winner. Some shot. So back live, one fault, 30-15, two points from the set. And Jan Kodish now stands two set points to lead John Newcomb two sets to one. Very solid, confident Kodish. And very workmanlike. Take a look at that last point again in slow motion. It's set point for Kodish. Good serve. Sort of a weak high return. Newcomb was looking for a cross court. He staggered over to his forehand and hit a short lob, and Kodish jumped and knocked it away on the forehand side, and he now leads two sets to one. And ready to try to uh, take this thing in four sets if he can. John Newcomb, we know he can go the distance. One of the good five set players. Starts the four set. For sure, Tony, Kodish had the worst of it yesterday. He played the last match, and his match was darn near three hours. What do you think about the condi condition factor? Well, he's 27 years old. He's strong as a bull, and he's proved that he can go the route. Not much on the body of Jan Kodish except muscle. That's what you're saying, Tony. Right. Good deal of wind. It's nice to be young. <laughs> and the crowd loves it. Yeah, once again, that let ball hurting Jan Kodis because that would have been another placement. Instead of 30-15, it would have been 15-30. Newcomb played it well, though. Kodis was running back in the center of the court and just dropped it over the net. I'll tell you, I don't know how Kodish is getting his racket on the ball, let alone getting it over the net. Marvelous returns. 30 all. Particularly on the backhand side, Jack, he doesn't take a big swing at it, so he, he gets it ready with a short back swing. He uses the speed on the serve that Newcomb's giving him and gets it back over the net. <laughs> Forty, 
The wide serve that Nukem's been hitting in the deuce court has been very, very effective. He's won a lot of points outright. He's aced him a few times. A lot of times he's gotten very weak returns. 40-30. Oh. He missed it. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. I have a, a short one-minute questionnaire. It has been proposed that the grass courts at Forest Hills be replaced by another service. We would like to have a reaction to this proposal from the spectator's point of view. We should register applause first from those who would prefer to see a change of service, and then from those who would favor retaining the grass. First, let's hear from those who would prefer a change in service to Forest Hill. Fine sports show, the CBS Sports Illustrated Today, 5.30, 4.30 Central Time. Features include Penn State football coach Joe Paterno discusses his philosophy of coaching and raising his family. A preview of the Muhammad Ali Ken Norton fight scheduled for Monday and late breaking sports news and results. This will come on immediately following the telecast here at Forest Hills. Well, Tony. Folks, you might have heard the, excuse me, Jack, the <laughs> great roar in the background. They asked the spectators, because they've been considering changing uh, forest hills from grass to another surface, and they asked the spectators which they would prefer, and uh, they said that the applause meter said 80% were for retaining the grass and 40% for changing it, a very interesting thing. Well, I'm afraid that uh, if they allow the players to uh, lead the applause, it would have been about 100% the other way, Tony, because all the... <laughs> One game to love. That's so Jack Starr telling us it's one love to Newcomb. Cody's to serve. We're in the four set. The players really want to get rid of the grass if they can. It's good. Tennis being a game not to miss any easy balls. The person that makes the fewest errors wins. Cody has really been airtight on the volley. Newcomb, the superior power volleyer, a little, little more unsteady. Good. Nope, I think it's called out. I can't tell. Yep, it was called out. Newcomb giving us the little count. I think he thinks a lot of Kodish's volleys, which are miraculous, might be lucky. 15 all. I'll say it for you, Tony. Jan Kodish would get better results on the average if he'd lobbed that ball. It's very hard to drive a backhand from back there, getting it by Newcomb. Right, you've got to give Newcomb credit, too. He's made a lot of good offensive lobs today. Can be a fine weapon. Youngsters uh, sometimes want to just blister that ball past the player all the time. Another good one. Nope. 30 all. 30 all. Big point for Newcomb. Boy, he needs a service break bad. And is he hungry, Tony? You know, he's had one good win this year. The Australian title came his way in early January. No other tournament victory since then.
don't think it was on camera, but Newcomb gave Kodish a dirty look because John hit a good return at his feet. Uh, Kodish's half volley came up very short. Newcomb barely got to it and knocked off the volley by Kodish. Well, I'll tell you, normally when you hit the type of return that Newcomb hit on Kodish, you figure to win that, at least that point. Again. Again. <laughs> Game Codish. Hey, games are one all in the fourth one set. All. Fourth set. And Newcomb has to be careful, I think, Jack, that he doesn't get in a frame of mind that Kodish is lucky because Kodish has gotten so many volleys and half volleys back. Instead of letting that worry, you got to just dig in and make more good shots. Not that John Newcomb's about to quit. That I can promise you. For sure. One all now. Four set. Oh! Although Kodish seated number six, Newcomb number ten, generally most people felt Newcomb was really pretty good favorite to this. Newcomb was seated 10th because he has only played nine tournaments this year, has not had a lot of success. He chose not to play in the World Championship of Tennis Tours this past year, though he is going to play next year. And I know mm -hmm. that's good news to tennis fans. I think John has far, far too many really business interests now. Doesn't allow him to get out on the circuit enough. Good. Here we go in slow motion. Newcomb rocks back, sets the ball in front, tries to kick it, hit it pretty hard down the center. A good topspin shot by Kodish. Newcomb isn't even close, and it lands about a foot inside the baseline inside. 15 oh. all, one fault. Fourth set, one all. Newcomb's getting a little frustrated here. He sort of smiled because that was a miss hit by Kodis and that one didn't go in the court. <laughs> $25,000 to the winner of this final match. $12,000 to the runner-up. Another look at slow motion. I don't think Kodis thought the serve was good. Newcomb stretches up and hits the big serve. Kodis hits under it, cross court. Kodis waited a second. Now he goes across and he snaps the forehand cross court. A very sharply angled return for a winner. And Jan Kodis tried to lob, but it's a little short. Newcomb put it away. So John Newcomb leads in this game 40-30. We see a lot of tennis year after year, but no one hits passing shots better than we're seeing Kodish today. We're back to deuce. And the thing is, Newcomb's not hitting bad shots. He's hitting real good return or serves. He's hitting good volleys. That's remarkable. There's a point for a break, but you know, uh, this reminds me of the story. They said, where do you pitch to Stan Musial? And they <laughs> said, behind him, where do you serve to this guy? Where do you volley to him? He can knock a pass on either side. He's hot. Yeah. Great serve for John Newcomb. Right time. Boy, was that a good one. John really puts everything into it. You can hear a grunt just as he makes contact on that serve. Oh.
Tony, I watched uh, Jan Cody's win those two big titles over in France, and of course I was in the hotel room in London, not at out at Wimbledon. He steadily hits those returns, no matter what the score is. You're going to find him swinging. John Newcomb holds serve to go ahead two, two games to one in the fourth set. Game to Newcomb. He leads two games to one in the fourth set. Can you mention the women's number team again? Not yet. We'll ask him. Bob? We're not going to uh, use any of the ladies' doubles. Shall we give the result? Take it easy, Jeff. Well, I'm leaving second. Okay. Okay. Okay, You're so right. we won't mention the score. We might have to. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> Here comes Margaret. That's the last help I'm going to give you guys. <laughs> And we're off of lady champion Margaret Court back to the potential men's champion. Either John Newcomb or Jan Cody's will walk off the court this afternoon. The champion of the United States for 1973. Yeah, Johnny Newcomb's out there first, but he's got a job to do. He's behind two sets to one. And this 27-year-old marvel from Czechoslovakia, Jan Kodish. Hasn't lost a serve in some time. Matter of fact, he hasn't lost one since the ninth game of the opening set. It's one, two. He's behind here in the fourth set. Ready to go to John Newcomb. It's mustache against mustache. And John Newcomb is one of the more modern type tennis players. He was the first one to go to the long hair, the mustache. My dad always had a saying about those things, Jack, but I don't think I can see it on television. Yeah, you know, I, I told Johnny influenced my kids. I was very upset with it. He missed it. If physical fitness were to be a problem, uh, Kodish having to hit so many overheads and running back for those offensive lobs could take something out of him. But I really don't think that Kodish is going to tire that much, nor will Newcomb tire. John Newcomb thinks he can out-rally Jan Kodish in the backcourt. That's Kodish's country. 30-15, a marvelous point. One thing uh, Newcomb might try is to approach the net by going straight up the middle more to cut off those angles. Boy, that's one of the first volley, volley errors that we've seen from Kodish. You're right, Tony. When a fella has top spin, he can get that angle on your cross court. So if you come down the center, you take it away from him. 30 all now. Still lots of traffic going over ahead on the way to the airport in LaGuardia. Well For the first time, Tony, a break point in favor of John Newcomb. All right. But this is the court where if you get the ball pretty deep, you usually get a bad bounce out of it. Good. Good. 
Tony, I'll tell you, Kodish has got some real courage because that top spin lob was hard to hit. I think he actually mishit it. But everything's going his way. We're back to Deuce. See if Newcomb tries to run around this one, hit a forehand. He likes to do that in this deuce court sometime. Another break point for Newcomb. He actually didn't get a chance to really run around it. Uh, Cody hit a ball basically into his forehand side. But John does like to get over that forehand on the return. Let on the first one. Cody leads two sets to one. He's down one, two, and a point for a break here in the fourth set. And there it is, a break for John Newcomb. Let's take another look. Cody, good serve. Newcomb hits a backhand cross court, sort of inside out. Now here's the good shot. Newcomb hit a good crisp forehand down the line. Cody's just barely got to it. Newcomb comes in and makes a forehand drop volley cross court. No way Cody can recover and get back. Excellent play. 3-1 now. Newcomb leading. Four set. First service break in many games. Double fault by John. Give him five double faults now, Tony. Only one to Jan Kodish. Kodish actually uh, helped Newcomb in that service break. He missed two volleys, but he's due to miss something. He's been making everything. That ball on the first serve. Actually, uh, Jan Kodish held nine service games in a row before he lost this last one. And that was a bullet. So John Newcomb, after getting the break, must hold himself together here. Jack, I always think of serving in tennis uh, to be much the same as pitching in baseball. You have the initiative. You get to choose whether you're going to try to slide one or hit it hard. Well, he seems to own the forehand court with that slice. That's right. He's been very effective. As a server, as in pitching, you're supposed to win the point or win, you know, win the game, but you don't always do so, obviously. Well, just pause a little bit. John Newcomb not wanting to um, have the air traffic noise bother him. Good way to get a little breather, too. Big serve, Paul. Good. 30 all. Another thing, that noise, uh, the tennis players rely on the sound when their opponent makes contact with the ball. They can tell what has been hit solidly and so forth. So Newton likes to wait so there's not too much noise. 30 all now. Wrong place. Wrong place and then the right place. <laughs> well, you can't seem seemingly ever fade one off. You can't get enough speed to hit a backhand to the forehand area of Newcomb, and he closes in too good. It's just Katie bar the door. 40-30 now. <laughs> Out. And Newcomb holds to lead four games to one in the fourth set. All right, with this view from our CBS Mr. color Newcomb camera wins. in the Goodyear blimp, let's pause for station identification.
Jack Kramer once again with Tony Trabert. This is the fourth set of the U.S. singles, the Open Championship here. Jan Kodish is ahead two sets to one. Johnny Newcomb has pulled himself back, and it's 1-4 now. Kodish to serve to Newcomb. First one's a fault. It's one service break here in the fourth set. One thing our viewers might notice, Jack, on all second serves, the players that are returning will get in closer. They normally walk forward into that ball to catch it early. Oh, oh, 15 love. They usually pick up about three feet of the, the real estate between the server and themselves, and they pretty well know that the, uh, the opponent's not going to do anything dangerous, go for an ace, so they might as well get up there. Oh, oh. A little deep. The advantage, of course, is you get the ball a little higher. You can get it back at your opponent more quickly so he can't get into the ideal volleying position. And Newcomb's starting to think fifth set here, Tony. I think he's going to try to soften up Cody. Try to tire him a little bit. Don't forget, Jan played 7-5 in the fifth against Stan Smith very late in the evening last night. Fine return. Well, on the forehand that Cody missed a moment ago, he was very late in getting his racket into the hitting position, and that could be a sign of fatigue or just could be a little carelessness on one shot. It's a beautiful shot. John Newcomb went down. Fifteen forty. Big forehand by John Newcomb. Two points for the break. Fifteen forty, and it's one four. Thirty forty. Very close serve, but a good volley. John Newcomb does not uh, look over at Herb Lewis, who called it. Still break point. If Newcomb can win this point, he'll have two service breaks in this fourth set. It would pretty much ice the set, and we'd go into five. Oh, Just out. Ooh, boy, was that close. Good beat volley by Kodish. Saved two break points there. Back to Deuce. Took a bad bounce. John Newcomb just let the run go out. Took a bad bounce. You can see that John put so much effort into that service his why his shirt tail's coming out. Advantage now to Cody. I know Kodish has got to throw a few at the forehand of Newcomb, but boy, that's dangerous because he really plops it. Up, up, advantage, Kodish. Newcomb basically has the forehand grip when he's waiting to return serve, and he doesn't really make a big grip change. I think he tries to turn it over a little bit to the backhand side to make the backhand return. Game, Kodish. Good game for Jan Kodish to win. Four games, two. I don't know what's happened, Tony. We've had a change of linesmen. I know there's been no objection. I think Bill Ackerman of Trenton, New Jersey. There's Miss, Mrs. Newcomb and Clint feeling a little better about uh, 
John's chances. He's behind two sets to one, however, but he's leading four games to two. There was definitely no controversy on the linesman leaving Jack. Uh, one of them asked to uh, be removed, so maybe he wasn't feeling well. Well, all of a sudden now, uh, Jan Kodish, who's been such a tremendous re return of server today, is starting to miss just a little bit. And just remember, and they've been out there almost two hours, about an hour and 53 minutes. John Newcomb still putting everything he can into that serve. And for those that joined us late, John Newcomb won the first set six games to four. Jan Kodish of Czechoslovakia came back and won the next set 6-1, the third set 6-4. Newcomb serving at 4-2 in the fourth set. thing we're not seeing is too many long rallies. Of course, the way these boys serve and then the returns, they come so quick. Usually one passing shot attempt and that's all you get. 30-15 now, 4-2 to Newcomb. <laughs> Service ace. That's seven service aces for John. Terrific. Five games to two. Mr. Newcomb leads in the fourth set. Mr. Kodish leads in sets two uh, uh -huh. to three. I did. I'm sorry. Okay. Jack Kramer, next Sunday, CBS begins its coverage of the NFL regular season with a doubleheader. Following a regionally televised game, viewers in most cities will see Detroit at Pittsburgh or Los Angeles at Kansas City in the doubleheader game. Regional first games are San Francisco at Miami, St. Louis at Philadelphia, Atlanta at New Orleans, and Dallas at Chicago. Check your local listings for the game or games in your area next Sunday. And with new balls, John Kodish to John Newcomb. Kodish is 2-5 down in the fourth. Good, good start for Newcomb. Love 15. Good stroke for Newcomb, too. I like the way he hits that back end down the line because he doesn't overplay it, but he really carries it well. He has a good follow through. 15 all. Oh, that's another service ace, number five for Kodish. And he's Five. only served one double. And that football lineup you're talking about reminds me that uh, Carol Rosenblum of the Rams and Lamar Hunt of the Chiefs, they're going to play each other and they ought to play some tennis too. They're both pretty good. Uh -oh. Both great guys too. Bad bounce for Newcomb, 40-15. A tactical error by Coders because he felt that uh, Nuka wouldn't run for that ball. John got in there very quickly, knocked it down the line. Now Coders has to win this one or it'll be deuce. Yep. 
Good play by Newcomb, but I think we're seeing a little bit of tired thinking, I would call it. Two times now, Jan's played the wrong shot. Those drop shots are too tough to make at this, this juncture of the game. Right, and Kodish would be wise to really bear down to win this because if Newcomb wins the serve to hold the force, to win the fourth set, then Kodish will start serving in the fifth and a final good, good set. Good point, Tony. Kodish took a little bit of a look. Looked like it was out from here. That was George Dugan. And it's set point for John Newcomb. They both smile at one another. Take a look at that 30 all point again. Kodish serving to Newcomb on the far side. Newcomb hits the backhand. Kodish catches Newcomb going the wrong way. Backhand volley back up to the forehand. Newcomb slipping, going the other way, and flips a forehand cross Set court for a winner. Two all. And then when Newcomb Kodish serve. came back, he hits a Newcomb hit a backhand down the That's line to win the set. And there is Mrs. Game. Newcomb and their son. Very, very <laughs> happy. It's now two sets apiece. John Newcomb serving the first game of the fifth and final set of the U.S. Open Championships at Forest Hill. And Jack Kramer, we're seeing quite a battle. Boy, oh boy. Well, Tony.
long serve. Just when you think Cody looks discouraged, he comes up with something great. He's advantage very determined. Right, advantage to John here. What a break for John Newcomb. Mrs. Kodish, very pensive, naturally worried about the worst. And John Newcomb has new balls, a real edge for the Australian champ. 5-3 ahead, the final set, new balls. First point to John Newcomb, 15 love, and John Newcomb had his head right over the net. Okay, it's still a very, very dangerous Kodish. Point out earlier, Kodish does not lob very often, so Newcomb is very close. Great serve. Two points now from the Open Championship for John Newcomb. Second serve now gives John Newcomb. 40 low. 40 low, says Jack Starr, and that means three match points and a happy Angie Newcomb. And Clint doesn't seem to be worried about a thing. Triple match point. Tony, so help me, I'm convinced that John Newcomb thought that he mishit the ball and it was going to go out, 40, 15. and he was on his way to shake hands. Right, he didn't think it was coming over the net. Absolutely not. And he just kept on running forward, and all of a sudden the ball went by him. <laughs> now John's gone back to regain his composure. He still has two match points. That's it. Tremendous win by John Newcomb. He came out the third and fourth sets, or fourth and fifth sets, I should say, 6-2, 6-3, to become the Open champion for 1973. This is Jack Kramer with Tony Traber saying goodbye from the West Side Tennis Club in Forest Hills, New York. The U Thank you.